Good afternoon, y'all. Welcome back to James V Outdoors. Today I'm down in Virginia Beach, just kind of messing around. I had a couple hours to kill this afternoon after work. I was like, let me run out here to the beach, see if I can catch a fish. So I got out my bottom rig, some of that uh, easy flea. It's the artificial like blood bites, fishing bait, just on a random regular bottom rig, like the two hook bottom rig. And I uh, got my lines cast out here killing a few hours uh if you're watching this video then that means i must have caught something so you guys stay tuned i finally got my camera on and got recording i hooked up on something here it's actually pulling some drag the surf is just crazy angry today. I don't know what the heck this is. I was expecting to maybe catch a couple round heads or something, but this is too big to be a round head. I don't know if y'all can hear that drag screaming, but that drag is rolling. And so is the ocean here too. I got no idea what I'm hooked on. Got some power though, whatever he is. Woo! The water is chilly though. Oh, it's a nice redfish. Look at this red. Yes, sir. Look at that fish. See if I can get him up with all the waves crashing. Oh no, the water's pulling him back out. There we go. Ah, oh, brought him up. Look at that fish there. That is a nice one. He's actually going to be over slot, but dag on, man. That is a pretty red fish that came up there. That fish is nearing 30 inches long, and he gave me a great battle. Beautiful red right there. He gave me a heck of a fight, too. It's crazy the color when they come out of the ocean right here. That salty, salty water. That fish is basically just silver, hardly any red to it try and get a good release on this guy here just like that he's gone hopefully you guys can hear me there I know the ocean is just crashing back there that was a really quality redfish I mean probably 30 inches long I wasn't expecting him because I was just out here fishing for round head or maybe an early croaker spot something like that and he hit that rod and just kept going he was pulling out drag it was actually a really really fun fight it was awesome to catch him on that bait and uh get him turned loose and uh you know maybe one day he'll be one of those big huge giant reds that come up the chesapeake bay and uh maybe i'll run into him again down the road all right we're hooked up again and again pulling a little drag it might be another drum i believe Well, look at that. I was just getting ready to reel up the rods and kind of call it a day. And that rod just took off and went down. Had a nice puppy drum one there. This one here, uh, this is actually a little smaller than the first one, but he might be slot size. So I'm going to measure him real fast and see how we're looking. All right, y'all. I got a measurement on the fish right at 24 inches. He's a great slot size. I'm going to bring him home with me and we'll do a catch and cook here. Maybe some black and red fish. All right, I'm not by any means the world's best fish filleter, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick fillet job on this guy. Just kind of get right here behind his gill plate. 
feel where your knife can go in. So get my knife in, work towards the back of his head here. Give it a quick turn, hit the backbone. Just kind of keep that knife working right along his back there. Coming just above the bone. Yeah, this knife is giving me a tough time at it. There you go. Something like that. Not the world's sharpest knife. Certainly need to make an upgrade here. But that's what we're looking like. Two nice fillets off that drum. All right, so I've got a couple nice fillets off the drum. I'm going to go ahead and take the skin off. And the way I like to do this is basically just start with my knife down here on the tail end and get your, your fingernails and kind of grip this skin right here and prevent that skin from sliding if you can. And then keep that knife just angled just with the board that you're cutting on. Like I said, my knife is kind of a little dull, so. Just keep working that knife down as you hold the skin. Then you're left with the skin and just a big pile of meat here. That's nice. I'll clean out some of this red meat that's here and a little bit of the bloodline and everything. Um, but that's just a big old nice fillet off that drum. Same thing with this other fillet. Get your knife started. Just keep pulling the skin down. Keep a good grasp of the skin. Working your knife down. Sharpen your knife sometimes, it will help. There you go. You guys kind of get the idea. Pulling the skin off of there and just leaving your fillets. Okay, this is not a paid promotion, but it probably should be. If you watch one of my other videos, it was the one I did some tile fish and tuna, and then I cooked it at the end and I made blackened fish. Um, this is one thing you want to take from this video. Paul Perdome's black and red fish magic. If you're gonna blacken fish, you've got to have it. I don't want you to use store brand this, XYZ, half price this. Pay the money, get the Paul Perdome's black and seasoning. It's absolutely the way to go. Maybe they'll sponsor me now, I don't know. So this is not all the meat from the fish, but that's most of it. I took it and went ahead and just cut it up into sections that you know are a couple inches wide. I'm gonna go ahead and get these dipped in butter and season with the black and seasoning before they hit the cast iron skillet. So I've got some butter melted in a bowl here. I'm just gonna take the pieces of fish, go ahead, dredge around in that butter just a little bit, shake off the excess, lay them down on a paper plate, just using paper because it's really easy to toss it at the end. But get them buttered up real well. It's gonna kind of act as a binder, if you will, holding your blackening seasoning onto the fish. All right, so the fish is all covered with butter. I go ahead and give this a really healthy coat of the black and red fish magic. This is one of those cases where, you know, kind of more is better in my opinion. You are gonna lose some of this down into the pan. So make sure you get enough on there and form that nice coat that you're gonna see on the fish once it sits in that cast iron for a couple minutes. So this season side is now what I'm gonna put directly into the pan. Once it hits the pan, then I'll coat the other side with the black and red fish magic. All right, so I've got my cast iron hot here. I'm gonna go ahead, grab these fillets, which I buttered and hit with the blackened seasoning. Drop them down in the pan. Let them start cooking. Not adding any oil in the pan, really. That butter that I put on the fish will be plenty enough to give them what they need. Going just like that and then as I said go ahead and hit them with more black and seasoning 
these fish have started turning white around the edges, so I'm going to go ahead and flip them over. You guys can see during those first two pieces that I flipped, they just have a beautiful crust that's formed on there from the butter and that blackness seasoning. So this is your finished product here. This is what the fish should look like. It's got this nice crust on there that's formed from your butter and your blackened seasoning. It makes for a delicious, delicious fish. And the seasoning is perfect for somebody like me. Just the right amount of heat, not too hot. It's fantastic. And that's it, y'all. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Stick around, more fishing content coming your way.